Hi, I'm Christina from hairromance.com. Yes, it's that time of year again. It's spring racing season. And knowing what hairstyle that will work with your headpiece can be a bit confusing. So that's why I've teamed up with Priceline to answer your beauty questions and to help you decide how to wear your hair on race day. Whether you're wearing a headband, a wide brim hat or a fascinator, I'll show you how to match your hairstyle to suit and some easy tutorials so that you can do it yourself. Let's get started. To get your hair to last the distance, it's all about preparation. You want your hair to be predictable, so you need a fresh base. I wash my hair with a new hair recipe range, and in particular, I love the Strawberry Mint Clarifying Shampoo. I want my hair to shine on the day, so I used the model's preferred gloss spray in wet hair and blow dried it. A tip for extra volume, use the Lady Jane paddle brush and blow dry your hair in the opposite direction. Always angle your dryer down from root to tip for a smooth finish. Now your hair is prepped and ready to do any style that you want. Let's start with the headband. You want to have extra shine for this look and you want your hair to have bounce and gloss. Keep it super simple and use a curling wand to add in a wave at the ends of your hair. To create this look, I take large sections of hair and wrap them around the barrel of my model's preferred curling wand. I'm only curling the hair below my ears and making sure to curl forward. A little more of the model's preferred gloss spray is all I need to finish this look and I work the product into the ends of my hair with my fingers, or you can use a brush. If the weather's a bit windy, pop some hairspray in your handbag. The mini L'Oreal L-Net is the perfect clutch size for touch-ups on the day. Now if the weather isn't playing nice and you'd rather wear your hair up, this triple bun hairstyle is perfect for wearing with headbands. To start this style, place your headband on. Make any adjustments you need so that you're happy with how it's sitting. Then split your hair into three equal sections at the back. If you have long or thick hair, use these small Lady Jane hair elastics to hold your hair in place with ponytails. Holding the base of your ponytail, twist it up and around into a mini bun and take a bobby pin and weave it through to pin it in place. Once you've done all three buns at the back, check how they're sitting and you can add any extra bobby pins to join them together if you need to. This chic and simple updo is perfect with any crown or headband and will last all day long. We don't get many opportunities to wear hats anymore and spring racing season is the best time to bring out colorful wide brim hats. With a big focus being on your hat, I like to keep it balanced with my hair. With the headband, it looks great with all your hair back off your shoulders, but I say to bring all of your hair forward for this style. Long, loose waves look fantastic under a wide hat, and I'm loving the 70s vibes this season. To create these waves, work in smaller sections and curl your hair away from your face. If your hair really doesn't like to hold a curl, then try this trick. Before you curl it, spray each section of hair lightly with hairspray and comb it through. Then, instead of letting your curl drop, hold it in your hand for a few seconds to let it cool. This helps to set your hair, so it will take you all the way to the finish line. Once all your hair is curled, give it a final spray of hairspray. I love the L'Oreal L-Net as it's flexible and won't make your curls feel stiff. Once your hair is completely cooled, run your fingers through to break up the curls, put on your hat and you're off. And the spring racing classic is the Fascinator. I love the angles and proportions that you can play with with the Fascinator. And you could still wear these same curls out from the wide brim hat and sweep them over one shoulder just to balance out the angles on the side here. But really your Fascinator is the feature so if you want to make your hair a minor player in this show, try this instead. Work with the angles of your fascinator and balance the detail with a chic low or side ponytail. For this headpiece, we want to create a sleek and simple style. Part your hair and comb it back near the nape of your neck. Secure your ponytail tightly with an elastic. These Lady Jane ones are great because they're almost invisible in your hair. Take a little bit of gel and rub it in your hands and smooth it down your hair to create a really clean finish. A fine comb can help tidy up any stray hairs as well. Oh. 
For the perfect finish, cover your band by wrapping your hair around your hair elastic. Wrap the ends around a bobby pin and then securely pin it in place underneath your ponytail. Fix it with hairspray and add that final shine with a mist of Models Prefer Gloss Spray. This hairstyle has real staying power and will look good all day long. I hope these hairstyles will have you sorted for the beauty stakes on race day. You can find details of all the products I use below and you can shop them at Priceline.com or at your local Priceline store. Thanks so much for watching, have fun with your hair and I'll see you next time. Bye.